A ripple jolted through the puddles as I ran. Faster and heavier breaths were not helping. My heart had pressure on it like a steam valve and my brain was pacing faster than me. I was being chased. Turning a corner I came to an abrupt stop for air. I was out of time and out of shape. Messing with the wrong people does that, I guess. In my younger years, I was going where the wind took me. I wasn't much for school and grades, but that attitude got me where I am today. Not knowing what to do with life, and half a house in debt to a well-known band of punks. I should have listened growing up. They said I could have been anything. What a load of crap. But they did have a point about remembering numbers and all the other garbage about formulas. If I would have paid attention, then maybe I wouldn't be here. Call it egotistical, but I don't think I'm entirely at fault here. This money deal was a mutual understanding between partners. That partner of mine is a hundred feet below sea level and a metal barrel filled with garden rocks. The poor bastard was still alive when they threw him in. I don't plan on being next. Close to a block away, I heard some yelling and clamoring. They were onto my trail. I picked my pace back up. The rain was getting heavier and still were my clothes. I was drenched from head to toe with enough water to drown a horse. My body was already aching from the bruises and scrapes from fumbling around town. I couldn't go much longer. I needed to find a place to stay, a place to rest. Maybe some place on the ground. A manhole caught my eye in an alleyway. Perfect. Hunching over to reach for the manhole cover, I heard a click echo. Someone just primed the gun, and it was pointed at me. You didn't think you could really get away, did you? We own this town. I was a six foot tall man in a raincoat. His hat casted a shadow over his face, and the pouring rain didn't help vision. The rainwater slid down the barrel of the gun slowly. Was time slowing? Or was I going crazy? That's when I noticed who he was. You! You're supposed to be dead! At the bottom of the river! The boss is a very generous man if you know how to strike a bargain. And the only strikes here are your three. You're out. You threw me under a bus. We made a deal. Sorry, old pal, but you should read the fine print more often. His finger wrapped tightly around the gun's trigger like a starved snake on a fresh meal. Constricting. Harder. And harder. <laughs> the shot could be heard five blocks down. It probably woke the neighborhood. It still didn't change the fact that I was lying on the ground in the cold rain leaking like a stuck pig. I was done for. Just another day in paradise for me. The good life I always imagined was fading away, creeping, just like the darkness setting in.